Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name's Nestor and today, today, today we're back with another carbon fiber install on the beautiful G87 M2. Now, last time you guys know, we installed ourselves the TFL Italy exhaust. I don't want to step outside because I don't have the filter on because it's uh, super sunny today, actually. It's like the first day of spring here in Canada, even though it's technically not spring just yet, but it's starting to get really nice and warm. So I decided, you know, today's the day that we're actually going to do this install. I put the car up on box ramps already, and we're going to be taking off the actual front bumper. We've already done this twice on this car actually did we do it twice i think we did it twice now let's talk about what we got in the mail because we got ourselves something beautiful from our friends over at auto technic we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and it is going to change the front end significantly now i want to say that this is going to be like the final piece that we're doing for the front end of this car but i would be lying because anytime i say that i'm done modifying a certain section of this car something just catches my attention i'm like okay one more thing okay let's get to unboxing this bad boy it's a lot more difficult in one hand than i thought it would be but we're making some kind of progress here we're cutting cutting something oh there she is all right so packaged very very nicely here we go we're getting closer one more the packaging is super overkill but you know what I would rather have it overkill than not enough protection. All it takes is for one UPS worker to have a bad day, kick your package, throw your package, steal your package. Ask me how I know, by the way. UPS, man. Can never trust them. Okay, we got another layer here, guys. It's like an onion. It just keeps going and going. But here it is. Ooh, check that out, guys. Hopefully, you can see that pretty nicely. Oh yeah, look at the way that carbon glistens. And then it has like this plastic shrouding all around the carbon fiber, but obviously that's not gonna be visible. And there's all the clip points. You have this little plastic in the middle as well with a bunch of clips. Looks like it's a really nice high quality pre-preg carbon fiber. And then the front is a really, really nice glossy finish. Here's a nice view of what the carbon fiber weave looks like. It's nice and glossy. Looks uniform all throughout. Killer, killer look, man. I cannot wait to get this on the car. It's just gonna make everything so much more, I guess, unique. The build's gonna be more cohesive throughout and it's just gonna make the front end look a lot more aggressive. Now, for the G87 guys watching at home, I did partner with Auto Technic to give you guys a nice discount on pretty much everything on their website. So if you are shopping at Auto Technic, you want any kind of carbon fiber stuff, any kind of mods for any of your cars, really, not just the G87, uh, you could use code Daily Downshift, and that's gonna save you 15%. So check out their website. If there's anything that interests you, definitely use my discount code, and that'll save you guys a little bit of money. We gotta go ahead and pop the hood. Absolutely love that noise. I don't know why. It's just so satisfying. Ooh, check out those beautiful Burger Motorsports intakes that we got. Absolutely one of my favorite mods I've done to this car, by the way. That combined with the exhaust just makes this car so kind of exotic and unique sounding. Absolutely love it. This is my favorite part. You get to use the brand new skill tool that we just got. So this is like an automatic ratchet. You can swap out um, the actual tip to be a quarter or a three eighth. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to work with this thing. We're gonna get the underside all the 10 mils off and then the bumper's just gonna glide on off. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I think she's ready to come off. Got everything off the underside, got the top off. There we go, that's one side. And that is the other. Sweet, job all done. Okay, let's go ahead and move this bumper onto the table. Check this out, guys. Bang, there it is. Obviously, got our lips still on it, got the beautiful carbon fiber inserts, and then today we're tackling this right here. So we're gonna get rid of these, and that's going to match this really, really nicely. I cannot wait. Alrighty, so obviously you just got a bunch of these little clips. It's gonna be a little challenging to take them out, not gonna lie. I'm gonna use a pry tool and then just my fingertips. Hey, there's the progress we're looking for. So this whole side is completely loose now. Just gotta keep working this way. I might even actually start from here and then start working this way and just meet in the middle and then pop this whole thing off oh 
This is way heavier than I expected it to be. I don't know why it just looks like plastic, but I don't know, there's a lot of density to this. It weighs a good couple pounds, actually. This one weighs probably like half the amount that this does, maybe even like 70%. Any weight savings, man, even if it's a half a pound, I will take it. Now, the only thing that kind of sucks about this and other aftermarket grills is there's not really a place to put the M2 badge. But for now, we're just gonna rock the no M2 badge, which is totally fine. Now, this is the fun part all these clips just really need to go ahead and clip into place kind of just pressing it down everywhere and these will start to start to attach just like that now let's go ahead and work on this left hand side I think it's time let's put the camera down let's put the bumper up so we can see what it looks like it's not gonna be on the car but still this is gonna be a nice first look I actually have not seen this grill in person yet because of winter there has been no meetups whatsoever um, I've just been seeing pictures on Instagram and stuff like that you guys are gonna get the first shot I promise oh. okay thank god I have a table here to help me out oh you check that out dude that's such a sick look I just love the, wow, it, it just makes sense. It makes total sense on this front end. Single line, single line, single line, single line. And then we have these M performance ones, whatever you want to call them, single line. And now we have single line up there. Perfect, dude, absolutely perfect. Man, I'm looking on video here and it just does not do it justice, man. Got the carbon on carbon on carving oh baby this is a dream right here and how, how can i forget i think this looks significantly better than the oem grill especially if you have any kind of work done to the front end Okay, I'm honestly really happy with that. Last time I took the bumper off and I had another pair of hands too. I was working with my brother. It was really difficult to get this lined up for whatever reason. Somehow, I guess because of the warmer temperatures, things are a little more flexible. It went on perfectly, zero gaps. It's lined up beautifully. So I can't complain, man. This install has been A1 so far. Let's bolt up the top and then we're pretty much done. All we gotta do is the wheel wells and then we'll back it up and show you guys the perfection at this grill kind of adds to the front end. We gotta slap this in. Left sides in, middles in. Beautiful. Once this is in, we're basically done with the engine bay. Buttoned up beautifully. Let's go ahead and close it. That could have been bad. That looks good. That is exactly what I was hoping for, guys. It fits, you know what I mean? It makes perfect, perfect sense with those M Performance style carbon inlets right there, the front lip. It is absolutely perfect, guys. Guys, I've done a lot of installs on this car, but I must say that this one is like making me feel the most special. Not because like it's the craziest piece or anything like that, but because it's really tying together the front end and just making it perfect. And so it finally to me looks done. Now, of course, this looks like a very nice presentable front end that like you'd see at a show or whatever. And you know, on camera, it's seriously not doing it justice because these are in the shadows. Let me see if I can maybe brighten this up actually. It's just such a badass cohesive look and I think it looks a lot more aggressive this way. Yeah, that is absolutely wicked, dude. Once I get the wheels as well, my summer's back on the car. They're a little dusty because of all the grime from the garage, 
Uh, but once I get those back on too, this car is going to be such a stunner. I think we have another like three, four weeks until I can put those on. Maybe two, three weeks, depending on how the weather kind of changes and stuff. Spring's really just around the corner. I said that there were other things I want to do to the front end to kind of complete it, but I think this looks good enough to call it a completed front end for the time being. And so that is the stamp I'm putting on the video, guys. Completing the front end of the M2. Again, please make sure to check out Auto Technic in the description of this video. If you do want to cop a grill, this is the one to go for. I've seen a couple of other examples. I don't think they fit the actual M2 as much as this does, especially if you're getting these M Performance kind of styled inlets. If you have those, this is the grill to go for. It's a no brainer because it matches perfectly. Perfectly. So yeah guys, once again to plug the discount code, uh, use code DAILYDOWNSHIFT for 15% off anything on Auto Technic's website. Oh, and by the way, the next video you guys are going to be seeing on the channel is going to be a compilation, drive-bys, all that good stuff of the TFL Italy exhaust. I know you guys want to hear more of the exhaust system, so that's going to be the next video coming up on the channel. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed, smash that like button, subscribe for more content on the G87 M2, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.